refinancing their car. But in today's Money Fix, the I-Team found that right now may be the best time to save cash with your car. Consumer investigator Jason Knowles shows you how. The pandemic has created an opportunity for saving on your car payment. Now, most people may already know about saving on a house payment by cutting down on the cost of a mortgage, but what about refinancing a car? Payment went down like a, over $150. That's how much Jason Mason and his family are saving each month on their car payment. Pretty easy, smooth process, so it worked out real well. The Masons had just bought a home and were looking to refinance that when they bumped into information about refinancing their car. Their interest rate on their Subaru went from nearly 8% to 3.24%. I think it's the first time I've ever refinanced financed anything online. A lot of people would never think of refinancing their car. Car loans outstanding are actually the third highest consumer debt that Americans own. Last year, our study showed that on average, consumers saved just a little bit shy of $1,000 per year. Chris Spelt runs Rate Genius, an auto loan platform that has a network of 150 lending institutions. Besides that, you can also use other similar platforms or you can contact banks and credit unions on your own for refinancing. Just make sure you look around and compare rates. Spelt says no matter where you go, the process is fairly easy and refi fees make it worth it. Usually, you know, $100, you know, it's in the hundred dollars range. He says the pandemic has helped to increase your chances of being able to get approved for refinancing. Because new car manufacturing and new car sales decreased dramatically, the value of used cars rose by like 15, 17, 18% last year which made it easier to refinance because your car was more valuable. That's just what happened for the Masons. If you have the option, I'd do it 100%. There are tips before you try to refi. Make sure you are paying your current car loan on time and consistently to improve your credit score. Also, the less you owe on your car compared to its value makes you a better candidate. Jason Knowles, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Okay, Jason, thank you. And here's something else our I-Team has been working on, searching for solutions to fix the catastrophic failure of the unemployment benefit system in Illinois. Hundreds of thousands of people lost their jobs during the pandemic, and the system designed to help them make ends meet broke. In our new streaming investigation, I-Team consumer investigative reporter Jason Knowles and Samantha Chapman examined the origins of the unemployment system's failures, and they uncover solutions that could prevent future problems. Broke, unemployed, and unprotected. The I-Team investigation now streaming on all of our digital platforms, including Roku and Fire TV. A lot of information there. Time for your weather forecast.